Hello, everyone. My name is Talita Conte, and I am a postdoctoral fellow at the St. Justin Hospital and University of Montreal in Canada. And I'm honored to share with you the latest results of my research project. So I'd like to start by saying that we all face the fact today that uh, myotonic dystrophy type 1 still has no cure, nor a, a therapeutic strategy to help uh, alleviating the symptoms of uh, DM1 patients. So for this reason, uh, in our lab, we decided to explore uh, very specific cells in the muscle called the uh, muscle stem cells uh, that are very, very important for muscle regeneration. So the muscle fibers of our muscle, in general, they suffer several uh, damage due to repeated contractions or due to mechanical overload. And uh, the muscle fibers, they're unable to regenerate their, themselves. So they need the help of those muscles themselves to uh, be repaired. So uh, we have seen in our lab uh, that uh, the muscle stem cells of patients with DOM1, they are defective. So basically they have decreased uh, proliferative capacity as well as uh, a decreased uh, a differentiation potential uh, into uh, to become myofibers. So we believe that uh, there is a pool of uh, defective muscle stem cells in the muscle of patients with DM1, and that if we eliminate specifically these defective muscle stem cells, we can allow the healthy muscle stem cells to promote their activity and restore the, uh, regener their regenerative capacity. So we have seen the last few years a new class of drugs that has been emerging that uh, they uh, target very specifically defective cells. So they have been tested in other degenerative conditions. They, they have been showing very promising results and a few of them have even been, uh, uh, they have started the testing in clinical trials right now. So uh, for this reason, we decided to uh, do a large screen in which we used uh, uh, some of the drugs of this uh, new class of drugs. And uh, we uh, have used uh, different muscle uh, stem cell cultures of patients with DM1. And uh, we have evaluated if the treatment uh, uh, with these drugs, they can eliminate specifically uh, these defective cells. So indeed, we have found one compound that has shown very, very uh, uh, specific and promising res results. So uh, they eliminated the defective cells and uh, kept the health muscle system cells. And we have seen uh, an increase in the proliferative capacity of these cells, as well as the differentiation uh, potential of these cells. So we are right now moving to in vivo studies. So basically we have, uh, uh, we're testing two different approaches. So one approach in which we are transplanting the uh, muscle stem cells of patients with DM1 in the muscle of mice. So we're treating these cells with this, this uh, drug and uh, we, are, we treat or not. And we see the effect of the treatment of these drugs in the engraftment uh, 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 of the muscle, the mice muscle. And um, our second strategy is we're testing this drug in a mouse model of DM1 that is called the, the MSL, uh, XL mice. So, uh, and we're uh, evaluating right now if the treatment is eliminating this defective cells and if it is also improving the muscle function of these mice. So uh, we believe that this study will be key for uh, further uh, studies in order to uh, promote a, a potential uh, clinical trial uh, using uh, some of those drugs. And uh, uh, I'd like to thank the MDF Foundation and all the patients that have been implicated and have uh, uh, 
given, given us this uh, powerful resource to explore uh, this uh, possibility of uh, having a new uh, potential therapeutic strategy for patients with DM1. Thank you.